Hi there, my name is Marcela and I'm a PhD student at the Biophysics Institute at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. I'm going to present to you my PhD project, that is the genome sequencing of the golden muscle. Well, you all know what a muscle is. Usually they are very delicious to eat. But this one I work with, that is about 1 cm in size, we cannot eat, and it's causing lots of troubles. It came from China in ballast water, the water used to balance ships when they are empty. It arrived in Argentina in 1991 and rapidly spread through South American continental waters, reaching the wetlands of Pantanal, very close to the Amazon River basin. This research is part of a bigger project to avoid golden mussel reaching Amazonian waters. You know, these mussels took the saying grow and reproduce too seriously. They grow side by side, one under the other, they grow, grow, grow. In one year, their densities go from 15 mussels per meter square to 150,000 mussels per meter square. Like this, they clog pipelines of power plants attached to ships, holes, trees, and even to other native bivalves. They are unable to open their valves to breathe and reproduce and end up dying. But that's not the worst part. Without natural predators, they are well adapted to the tropical climate and now they only do three things, eat, sleep and mate, not necessarily in that order. They mate much more than they sleep and they eat even more. They eat so much, filtering the water, that make the algae disappear. Fish eat mussels too, but they eat so much that they end up dying of indigestion. Scientists call it an ecosystem engineer because it changed the invaded environment, decreasing biodiversity. Actually, we do not know enough about this muscle. We know it can attach to any surface through the byssus, produced by the muscle's foot gland. But how this foot gland can do that? This is the kind of question we are eager to answer. We want to study its DNA and genes to be able to understand the muscle better. But that costs a lot of money, and that's why we need your help. Our lab has already sequenced its transcriptome, and now we want to do its entire genome. And how it would benefit you? Besides gaining our infinite love and the relief of saving Amazon from this plague, we are going to name after you the genes and proteins described on this research. For instance, my name is Marcelo Liano. If I found out an amazing protein, it would be called Ulianina. The higher your donation, the better the chances of having a super protein or super enzyme named after you. Geek stuff, right? But think about a duanase enzyme. Isn't it amazing? At Catarzi, if we do not reach the $20,000 we are asking for, we do not get anything. So, call all your friends and help us to be one of the first Brazilian research groups to sequence the genome of a complex organism. If you have any questions, contact us. It will be a pleasure to show to you a little bit more of this amazing scientific world that we live in. Thanks a lot!